Final Bulldog of the day is Austin Williams, a receiver. He wants to go straight to questions. Who would like to ask first? Okay, right here in the front. Can you talk about what it is to be a receiver in a Mike Leach passing game offense? That was awesome. Uh, I mean, the second I heard he was coming, uh, it's kind of a blessing, you know. I mean, air raid, you hear all about it, throwing 60 times a game. There's really not much you can ask for. Uh, you can air it out, everybody gets touches. On your left, back row. Dan Peck, ESPN 106.7 in Auburn. Uh, the come from behind victory at Jordan Hare Stadium last year uh, was a pretty memorable one for you guys. I know it was memorable for the folks in Auburn as well. Your memories of uh, being able to dig out of that hole and uh, both your teammates and Mike Leach talked about how the coaching staff stayed very confident throughout that game, even as Auburn took an early lead. Your, your memories of, uh, of, of that game. Yeah, I mean, you know, it doesn't uh, start out ideal when it's 28-3. Kind of looking at you like, all right, here we go. <laughs> but it was great to see other team, uh, kind of the confidence, morale, and nothing wavered. There's always a belief there. Cause, I mean, you can't get out of a hole like that if anybody's, you know, half in. You got to be fully committed, all in. It wasn't a doubt. You know, we go in at halftime, I think it was 28-10 at that point. And just kind of like, you know, look at each other in the eye, like, all right, we're going to do it and make it happen. And just kind of go out and believe and execute. To your right, third row. Tyler Shaw with KBTX and College Station. Um, kind of going off that, but just with another game, you know, when you guys were the underdogs and beat A&M at Kyle Field last year, what kind of were your memories from that game and how much are you looking forward to playing them again in Starkville? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, it's always such a really cool environment. You know, the fans, they got that place rocking. I don't know how much, 100,000 or however much it holds. Uh, it was very memorable. Coming out, I mean, coming out of halftime, just kind of like, you know, you know, two quarters left, got to finish this thing, kind of play by play, drive by drive. They're you know, a really talented, uh, athletic team. It was just cool to kind of see us come together once again, you know, have that belief, have that commitment, you know, finish it. To your right, fourth row. Uh, Justin Winter, KX TV, College Station. Uh, your quarterback uh, really merged last year, Will. 36 touchdowns, all the yards he had, getting a lot of preseason love already. Um, just what do you expect from, uh, from number two again this year? Uh, Will is definitely one of the hardest workers in the building. Uh, well, I loved seeing this offseason much of film study. He's really trying to become a student of the game. I mean, you know, he's pulling up Texas Tech film from Coach Leach, whoever it may be. He's trying to find any edge he can get. And uh, I love how he does that. He leads from the front. I hope we continue to make the bounds. Our whole offense continue to make bounds. You know, that's our improvement from, you know, two years ago to last year. You know, we can just build on that. Just kind of everybody get on the same page. We've got a lot more reps on our belt. You know, we've got a lot of experience coming back. To your left in the back row. I'm, uh, I'm friends with Ra Ra's high school coach, so I, I need to ask about not, not just uh, what, what Ra Ra brings, but, but some of the other receivers in, the, in that room and, and, and what they do so well for this team. Yeah, specifically Ra Ra. I mean, coming in as a freshman, you know, really just like a deep ball threat right off the bat. His ball skills are really, really good. He's just natural with it in his hands. And I'm, continue, I'm really excited to see him grow and kind of take that next step to in his sophomore year. And like I said, I think we got a lot of depth with the receiver room. We brought in a couple of transfers, a couple of freshmen come in. I'm excited to see. I think we're going to have a lot of competition at every spot, which is good. I think it's going to make us grow. Are right here in the front row? Hi, Austin. AP Stedham, WHEP, Foley, Alabama. Austin, how did you develop such good hands, and what, are, what else are you doing to become a better receiver? Uh, I try, in the offseason, I guess I try to pride myself, you know, try to catch as many balls as I possibly can. I try not to worry about, you know, catching more of these other guys, or it may be just I set a really high standard for myself. And um, I'm kind of, I guess, try to be my toughest critic. So I'm always just trying to do more and try to raise my ceiling all I can. Uh, as a receiver, it's continuing to grow my understanding of the game. Uh, I would really love to you know, read defenses better, understand it from a defensive point of view so I can you know, best you know, take, a opportunity, take advantage of my opportunities. Fourth row on the right. You, you've been to media days before, so I'm just curious, which, which do you prefer uh, you know, when you're in Alabama or here in, in Atlanta? Uh, I'll be honest, it was really cool to be on the private jet. So it's, it was 30 minutes to Alabama and 55 minutes here. I mean, I'm not too picky. You know, it's, they're both really you know, awesome experiences. Front row here. Austin, one of my favorite questions is, if, if someone did not know you, what would be the most important thing you would want them to know about you? Um, I'm, a, I'm a Christian, a believer in God. Okay, to your right on the fourth row. 
Austin, those close losses, what LSU, um, like Memphis and Arkansas, right? Just being so close, what do you, what do you think your team took from those? And I guess how do you take that learning experience this year and maybe come out on the right end of the, on the stick on those close games like that? Yeah, it was tough for us. I know we had three games. We lost by a total of eight points. Um, you know, we've got to learn to finish games. That's something we definitely took into the off season. You know, we got to finish games, whatever it is. We got to find a way, kind of band together. You know, don't have that quit like we did in a couple. Like on the opposite end, we did really well in a couple of tough environments. Those are just ones you can't let slip. You know, you got opportunities. You got to make the most of them. We got to have guys step up and uh, just gotta continue to come together and have that belief. We'll go back to the third row here on the right. Maybe something. What's happened this off season, or? You know, what gives you confidence you guys have improved and you'll have a, a better 2022 season? I really like who we got in the locker room, honestly. I like the guys we got. I feel like everybody's on the same page, kind of band together. There's not a lot of guys taken away from our goal, or if any. You know, this, I feel like everybody's on the same mission, same path. You, got, you know, that, that's important. Everybody's going to be pulling the same direction, right? We don't got a lot of guys pulling apart. And I think that's me really well. I, I just liked what we've done this offseason. I think we're really working hard competing. What are the biggest challenges to competing in the SEC West? I mean, it's the toughest you know, division of football, without a doubt. Uh, but that's why we come here. It's awesome. I mean, everybody wants the opportunity to play on the biggest stage. And you're playing against NFL players you know, every week, you know, regardless of what you're doing. And that's an awesome opportunity. you got a chance to go out there and perform, you know, showcase your abilities. And I mean, it's more of like an opportunity than a challenge. Front row. Last year when your team experienced some issues in the kicking game, did you have a lot of people that actually tried to walk on or came for the tryouts? And did you ever think of trying out for the kicking game? I mean, I'm not one to talk about issues. I mean, I, I, I'd say in the offense, you know, we could have scored in the red zone. Defense, we could have made stops, right? I'm not going to highlight or put them down just because, I mean, they had opportunities. I mean, they had field goals we made, right? I mean, you know, touchdown six points, right? And we lost three games by a total of eight points. So we could have done something more on our end. And in terms of tryouts on that, I mean, that's, I mean, that's coaches. I really don't know what happened or not happened. Now I'm a play receiver. OK, third row again. You said you don't play in the SEC West. You're basically playing against NFL players. Who are some of the best DBs um, in this conference that you, you've had to go up against? Mm. Uh, you know, last year at Auburn, uh, you know, Smoke Monday, a couple of those guys really talented. I didn't have a chance to go against McCreary at Auburn, but I thought he was a really good player. Um, man, it's tough to like really single out some other guys. Um, everybody, like every, every time, you, there's always going to be NFL guys everywhere you go, right? I know A&M's got a couple guys coming back that there's some really good potential. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, don't have a, I can't really single them out. There's a bunch of guys. Uh, to your left, back row. As as the uh, as the one offensive player uh, selected to represent Mississippi State, uh, you're you're sort of representing that entire side of the ball. Is there anyone who's had a really impressive off season that you think deserves some recognition? So I'm just thinking through. We got a lot of bunch of guys that have done really well. Um, I, mean, I think our running back room, something's just kind of under the radar. I mean, we got some really, really good guys in there that do a lot for us. They don't give necessarily the recognition they deserve. You know, we got Woody and Dylan Johnson. We've got a bunch of other guys. You know, we got Bull. Um, it's Hargrove is his last name. And uh, I think that's a group that's really worked hard. They make leaps and bounds. They're always, you know, work, they're always leading from the front. We have time for a final question. Is there anything else? All right, Austin, thank you very much. Appreciate it.